Restoration projects like those on Labarge Creek and the Little Snake River are examples of the efforts to restore cutthroats. I am optimistic about the future of cutthroat trout in, uh, in Wyoming. You know, once you've, uh, once you've set the stage for, uh, for good habitat conditions for cutthroat trout, um, the stage seems to be set for those, uh, those other species as well. In the future, in the next 25 years for cutthroat trout, I would love to see some uh, restoration of uh, fisheries that were historic cutthroat range continue. Uh, certainly the Wyoming Game and Fish Department has done a great step in that uh, sense uh, by uh, reintroducing Colorado River cutthroat trout in LaBarge Creek in the Wyoming range, for example. And there they uh, um, restored 58 and a half miles of stream, took out the uh, brook trout and put back in the Colorado River cutthroat trout. Uh, and again, like I said, it's 58 and a half miles of stream in the Wyoming range. I'd sure like to see those kind of programs continue. Future cutthroat management in Wyoming, and in particular the Little Snake River range, looks pretty bright because of the restoration efforts we've had to date. For example, uh, if you, we were down in 1993 to 51 stream miles. Right now, with the restoration efforts that have, were basically begun in the early 1990s, as, uh, we are now up to nearly 120 miles of cutthroat habitat in the Little Snake River drainage. That's 130 some percent increase in the miles of stream. So yeah, I think the, as, as long as, uh, as uh, we educate the public as to the value of these fish and we don't have our efforts um, sabotaged, if you will, by anglers who would like to see brook trout back into some of these streams. And that an education will go a long ways there uh, towards uh, uh, showing anglers that, hey, cutthroat are a valuable part of our heritage and, our re and, and in the future they're going to be very important for anglers to catch. Um, I think uh, it looks pretty bright. I really do. One of the tools being used by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department to restore genetically pure cutthroats involves collecting eggs from wild fish, raising those eggs in a hatchery, and then releasing them back into Wyoming's waters. We're at a tributary of the Snake River. It historically has had a significant uh, Snake River cutthroat run. We utilize this, this run to uh, collect eggs for our captive brood stock and every seven or eight years we come in for brood recruitment. Uh, after we collect the eggs from the female, we fertilize them right on site and then we'll take them to the Auburn fish hatchery, raise them till they're two inches, then we'll send about 150 of the progeny to our fish health lab in Laramie and they'll run a battery of tests looking for different diseases. Uh, years ago, we really didn't put much thought into what was native and what wasn't. Where now we're trying to maintain these native fish, and it just allows us to put the native fish back in. Fishery managers are now guided by management philosophies to maintain native species and provide long-term directives for fish species and watersheds to ensure that these native fishes forever swim the waters of Wyoming. Yeah. The more habitat, the better. Um, and, and that's what we're looking for. We're, we're looking to, to restore as, as much connected habitat as we can um, and as much habitat overall as we can to, to hopefully ensure the viability of those, those populations of cutthroat trout. We educate future generations on the value of wildlife, the value of a fish, the value of the habitat that that fish lives in, then future generations will be able to enjoy the same thing. I guess uh, my, my parting comments would be that uh, the, the, the work that, that, that I've uh, 
um, been engaged with, with uh, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, um, the, the uh, Bureau of Land Management, uh, from uh, outfits like Platte Valley, Chapter Trout Unlimited. Uh, it's just been a great experience and it's certainly been um, one of the most gratifying um, projects that I've uh, been involved with in my course. Of My vision for the future of cutthroat trout is there will be pristine or near pristine habitats that anglers and, and various publics can go and enjoy them, can see them, can fish for them. That the legacy, this natural resource legacy that's been, uh, that's been given to us to care for uh, will flourish and is viable. Through the efforts of the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and many others, Wyoming's four native cutthroat species still swim in their native waters. Through diligent management and protection of cutthroat habitat, these special fish will provide action for anglers for years to come.